world. And we know Scott has been with us on so many issues. We know, though, that this is a crucial vote, maybe the most important vote that Scott will take in his time in Congress. Uh, this is a vote that can really make a difference in the lives of working people in the protection of the environment, the issues that Scott has stood, has stood up for throughout his career. So we're asking him to stand with us uh, here on this vote. We know it's coming soon. Uh, and, uh, and, 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 and we look forward to celebrating with Scott as we stop this deal and enter into a process, a democratic process, where international labor organizations, international envir environmental organizations, human rights organizations, can come together and craft a real deal uh, that's about fair trade and that looks out for the interests of people on the planet uh, throughout the globe. Thank you, Marianne. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, did you want to say something? It looked like you were about to, and I cut you off. So. No. We okay. Hear from you. Okay. Good. Especially, but there are those who might want to say a few things. If that's all right. Before I say anything, would someone else like anyone else like to? Masada, where are you? Masada. They're asking for you to come in here. Well, Masada comes in. Tyler, watch it, watch would you it, watch it, share it. your story? Yeah. With you? Yeah, I, 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 like I spoke outside earlier, I come from a, a, a shop here, Pratt Whitney Aero Power. Uh, Scott's visited many times uh, in, in Kern Mesa, and we're getting ready to close our doors, and uh, it's being outsourced and, and realigned to other, other parts of the country and outside the country, uh, and it's got to stop. Uh, just another, another. the TPP is just another napped on steroids, and all it is is harming the, the working class, the people that walk for Scott, the people that talk for Scott, that's another yeah. one. So 600 jobs. Right yeah, 600 yeah. plus jobs right there. Um, people that came out, and phone banked, and called for, it and walked his precincts. So, we're asking him to stand with the people that supported him and that he stood for okay. before, and stand with us again and vote no on TPP. Thank you. Thank you. Like yeah. Say, yeah. As many uh, IBW electricians getting laid off there as well. So I mean, it hurts all a bunch of different crafts and uh, workers from that facility. What's your name? Andrew McCritchie. Nice Thank you. Hi, I'm Rabbi Cherry. Oh, sorry, go ahead. You going first? I'm Rabbi Cherry, and I'm not here to protest the trade agreement. I'm here to ask that the details of the trade agreement be made public yes. and be open to a democratic process. I can't protest what I don't know. And to hmm. not have this process be open and democratic seems both disappointing and alarming. Yes. Yeah, here, yeah. 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 here. And my name is Masada Dizenhouse, and I'm here with San Diego 350. We're a climate change organization. And um, Scott Peters has said repeatedly that um, climate change action is a high priority for him and for his constituents. And um, this, these type of trade agreements are built by corporations specifically to undermine climate and other environmental regulations as well as labor and health um, regulations. And so we're here to say, you know, A, I totally agree with the rabbi. We want to see, you know, we want to see the details of it. If it's such a great deal, why can't the public see it and comment on it? And um, second of all, you know, he, he needs to make sure that any trade agreement is going to do the most we can to protect our climate, our jobs, and our health. Amen. I'd like to add one thing. I, uh, like many people, I came out and worked hard for Scott in the, la in the last election. And I certainly didn't do that for him to turn around, or in, anyone in Congress to turn around and abdicate from the responsibility as Congress people mm -hmm. to deliberate on these issues and make the best decisions that can be made. So agreeing with what the rabbi said also, I think this thing should be dead in the water to begin with simply because of the process yes. through which it's come about. Yeah. Thank you. We know that Marty. I'm Beth Johnson. I'm a co-president <laughs> of okay. Interface Center for Worker Justice, um, and involved in intersectional justice work. And this, the TPP, embodies intersectional injustice, interlocking systems of domination and oppression that harm workers, environment, health, all that you've heard about. And this is such an opportunity to lead. Mm -hmm. and to be bold mm -hmm. and to take a risk. We heard from the labor secretary that this, oh, this isn't gonna be like NAFTA, it's, it's better. But we know that's not true. Otherwise the details would be made clear. And what an opportunity for him, for um, Congressman Peters to really lead and to lead Congress to be so bold as to yes. say, we are needing to initiate a new world 
a world of transparency and care for the entire globe, which Richard talks about so beautifully. Everything is connected, everything is at stake, everything that we do matters, and this is a big moment. So just, you know we represent so many more people than just the folks who could sit in this room. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so, Marion, we'll actually present you with our uh, poster. Okay. And uh, we uh, certainly love and to. Do you want to talk to yeah. us, Marianne? <laughs> well, I, I would just say that um, a couple of things. In addition to hearing from all of you here at home, and you know that he's met with several of you individually and as a group here in San Diego, he's also been meeting with um, national and international leaders. He met with the Sierra Club yeah. International yesterday, yeah. um, international trade groups have been coming in to, to hear from them as well. Yeah. Um, part of what, uh, in addition to that, um, since the language has been, was introduced last week, and prior to that, um, he has been having uh, individual briefings just one-on-one -on -one to hear the language himself. He's spent a great deal of time doing that, so he's not, I want to assure everybody he's not taking this lightly. Um, he shares your concerns that he wants to know every word that's in, in the in the legislation and he's spending a lot of time doing that um, and I think that it's all of you believe I know you wouldn't be here asking for asking talking to us today that he shares your values yeah. and your goals and that's increasing true. labor standards that's raising true. people up that's not just true. here in America but across the globe yeah. increasing environmental protections not just in America but across the globe yeah. um, and there's not this is not something that he will support unless he feels those things are happening he also believes that there are a lot of defects in the previous trade agreements he shares your view on that yeah. um, and fixing that has to be part of what comes out of this or it's not something he wants to do. Yeah. So um, I wish I could tell you more other than he's spending a lot of time thinking about it again. Not an easy decision for him. Um, and I appreciate that you heard today. Yes. Uh, Even our electricians have a gift that they also want to leave. <laughs> I'm going to put that in his office. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing Scott, he's going to love this more than anything else, truly. It really, it really I feel will like we fit. We saw something like that around the toilet to tap discussion. So, well, you know, there are some images that, are, that actually work, and this one, I think, how many? Andrew, you're at the top. These are all electricians that have signed. Everybody who's here has signed this signed this so I know this is going to be a really big treasure of I'm gonna take a picture and send it to him and you truly want me to open it up and Marianne um, I guess the, the the last thing that I'd add and, and I know uh, you know Scott approaches uh, uh, issues with with a lot of uh, deliberation and thought the burden of proof is on the people who are promoting this uh, this this deal. That's right. uh, if they cannot show clearly and definitively uh, to Congressman Peters uh, that this is a deal that actually works for working families, works for the environment, that meets that meets his values, he needs to say no, and he he needs to say no because this is a deal that has frankly divided. Uh, people that should be working together. Uh, and why would Scott Peters, who's been a consensus builder uh, you know, throughout his, his life, why would he uh, uh, support something that's been put forward that's so divisive and at the end is based on claims of lifting labor standards, claims of protecting the environment, but that can't show how that actually happens. Uh, what we would ask Scott to do is to send this back, say, this doesn't meet the burden of proof. This, this doesn't clearly show how it meets my basic values as a, as, a, as, a, as a member of Congress. I don't want to support something that divides our community. I want to scrap this and start this over where our entire community can come together yeah. around the values that, that Scott, uh, that Scott yeah. believes in. So push it back, say no, let us start a process that's a, an actual democratic process that brings the right people to the table. Sounds good. Thank you, Richard. Right. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Marianne, thank you for, you're welcome. for talking.
and for understanding the gravity with which, you know, a, a toilet seat is a lot of fun, he'll like it, <laughs> but the ideas of these are the, will affect our children and grandchildren and generations to come. So thank you for really showing us that you understand what this means. We do, we do, and I can tell you that we are thinking about it every day. Um, it's not, it's, it's a very, we understand what a big decision this is, and uh, the entire office and staff is engaged. So if you would like to pass this down, if you want to stay right there, I'll take a picture of you and send okay. it to you. Okay. Yeah. Toilet, and you can put some paper. We can make a sculpture. Yes. I'm going to skip the paper, but I'll. We can, yeah, we can no, we turn you into a, a still life. <laughs>